hello and welcome to the show. I am back on Street Legal Racing Redline, going to be building another, well, really rather crazy car. You see, the pickup truck last time was a little bit disappointing. For some reason, I couldn't get the, the, the twin charging system on. It wasn't quite working, so it was only, only, I say, producing 750 horsepower, which is surprisingly tame for this game. So I wanted another vehicle to work on. I went to the used car lot, got this uh, muscle car. Now this cost just $33,000. I didn't quite realise just how powerful it was. This is, I haven't touched a thing on this car having bought it. It starts off as a Class A car. It has 827 horsepower. 800 torque as well. That is monstrous power from a car that I've just bought from the used car lot. It is very, very impressive. We've got a supercharged V8 in here. But that is incredibly tame compared to what we are going to be putting in this vehicle. We shall get rid of the uh, the engine. I might keep that engine. We might stick it in something else at a later date. But, uh, yeah, my, my, my plan for this one... You see, I went... On the, on, the, on the internet to find some engine mods for this game. Well, I can't get the actual car mods to work. I can get the engine mods to work. Which means that we are going to be building the Randall Racing Beast V8 engine. Now this... This will get me the uh, nice crazy levels of horsepower, I'm hoping. And then I'm going to try and, well, drive the car. I'm not sure we're going to have... This is going to be a very good test of the, the drivability of these insane, <laughs> insane vehicles. Because, yeah, my previous experience with this game, I built some very, very crazy high-powered cars, and they tended to uh, have issues when it came to handling. The, the game just simply didn't know what to do with something that was as ludicrously fast as this, and... Well, we're going to find out if this new version of the <laughs> of the game will be able to... Uh, oh, do I need... Okay, maybe there's another page. I don't know. I can't even remember. Does this engine have a turbocharger? Don't know. Well, we will, we will see indeed. We're not going to go for NOS. I'm not going to need it. Maybe the... Um, What's it called? I've completely forgotten the name of it. The exhaust. Maybe they're already turbo um, ready exhaust manifolds to begin with. Kind of makes sense, really. Uh, Randall Racing Adjustable. I don't. Uh, I guess I could. Somebody did say in the comments of the last one if I get an all wheel drive gearbox and want to have the car is still rear wheel drive, I can just adjust it so that all the power's going to the rear wheels. I might do that with this. I hope you're ready for the insane wheelie monster that will come out of this vehicle. Uh, we will get the uh, various bearing bridges that we need. We'll need alternators and all of these bits and pieces. We'll want a high flow air filter. We'll definitely want an oil pan. Um, yeah, we'll want that as well. I think that's all we need. We sh should come with a battery. Uh, we might get an upgraded battery just in case. Now, that engine is very, very expensive. The engine is very, very expensive indeed, hence why I cheated in a whole bunch more money. I didn't actually quite know how much I was going to need, but uh, there we go. Right, the engine does look glorious as well. <laughs> I love the very, very bright red engine that uh, we are going to have going on here. Let's get uh, them in. I'll try and do these in, in, in roughly the right order, you know. Put the... Well, okay, maybe I haven't done the bottom bits in the right order. But, you know, put the camshaft bearing bridges on before you put on the <laughs> the covers. Right. Uh, the exhaust manifolds. Are we going to fit turbos okay on there? Yes, indeed we are. Oh, lights have just popped off. Ah, of course, because we're, we're going through the time as I'm sticking bits and pieces on the car. Uh, oh, we'll get to get that on first. Then we'll get the clutch on. Then we'll get the uh, lovely... <laughs> The lovely gold uh, belts going on here. Uh, we were um, okay. Uh, maybe I have to put that on first. Then we put that on the front. And then we can put the oil pan in. And oh, we already have the uh, nice battery in this car already. There we go. That is our engine. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? It looks absolutely incredible. Now, here is the moment of truth. If we go into details, it's Class S. 
fact, it's a hell of a lot. Let's save about five hundred pounds that uh, engine. If we go to our graph, we are up at four thousand eight hundred and thirty-nine horsepower. Engi apparently, the engine will destroy itself at forty thousand <laughs> RPM. Okay, well, that's a lot. But there's more that we could do. I'm really hoping that we're going to work here. I am assuming... Uh, where is the fuel light? Oh, can we get to the... Okay, I'm hoping if we click on here... Ha-ha! Yes, we can get on our turbos and we can go all of the power. Or all of the boost, I should say. And now we will have all of the power. Now we will have... Oh, <laughs> 31,000 horsepower. 11,000 torque. That's more like it. That is what I think this is by far the most powerful. What was the jet engine that I used previous? There is a jet engine in this game. I have... Didn't I attach it to a Prius? I seem to remember attaching a jet engine to a Prius at some point on here. I think that gets 26,000. Uh, I was going to try to go for the fuel rail in there. Oh, maybe that's in there. Okay, fuel rail. Uh, ah, can we not, maybe we can't on this version change the, uh, fuel mixture. Oh, that's not fuel mixture, the, I've just noticed there's like a demon face going on on the intake manifold. Um, the sort of type of fuel being used to, like, racing methanol and so on. I, I'm guessing it's kind of probably running on that to get this level of horsepower. Anyway, it was a thing that, that you could do. Perhaps you can't on this current version, you can only change the compression ratio. I think 31,000 horsepower is a good... A good starting place for, <laughs> for this car. Now, I'm not sure putting this much power through the car's normal, well, road-going tyres is, is going to be a particularly good idea here. I'm somehow getting the feeling that that is probably not going to really work very well. So, we're going to take these off. What brakes have we got on here? Um, they're probably okay brakes. Uh, we will... Oh, I should probably take this off all in, in one go. We're going to get some lovely giant drag slicks. We're going to need them. If we're going to stand a hope in hell of using any of this power whatsoever, we are going to need some of the giant drag tyres. Unfortunately, we can go and... Whoopsie. We can go and get them. Is it under... Okay, it's not... I was expecting tyres to be at the top. I don't know why I was. Um, Tyres. We can get to 405. I think we're going to want 405s. I'll be honest here. <laughs> I'm thinking we're going to want these at the back. If we're going to put this power down, we're going to need them. Now, we're also going to need... Now, I wonder if I can remember how to find them. We're going to need the right size rims. And there are all sorts of different uh, sizes of wheels. Because these drag tyres are so massively wide, I think they might only fit on these. Possibly. We're going to get a couple of these. I think we're going to need this pair of wheels to actually work for our car. Uh, they will be down here. And then if we drag them... Now, if I just sort of click on them, it'll place it on. It'll go through them in order. But if you click and drag from the uh, from the little bar at the bottom, you can select where to put them directly. Okay, it's slightly phasing through the brakes, but that's fine. And then if we stick them on the back, <laughs> it will very much look the part. Okay, now we could stick with these on the front. I might actually keep the rims on the front. We just might want to... Uh, it's got medium compound sport tyres on here. So 215... Uh, I'm trying to remember how the, the size of the tyres work in this game. Uh, so it's R15... So it's a uh, R15 wheel. We I could do with probably soft compound tyres to give us some grip for turning. There's going to be no grip for turning, okay? There could be absolutely nothing in the way of grip uh, for, for turning. This is very much a drag car and a drag car only. Uh, do we have any of the smaller soft compound tyres? Uh, <laughs> all of these, all of these different... Uh, R15 medium compound, so the soft tyre... Where's the soft tyres gone? Uh, da, da, da. Is it R19 is the only soft tyre that we've got going on here? Do we have any smaller than that? Uh, there's R19 soft compound racing tyres, and then there's a slightly different size one. So 
255295. Right, after much faffing and getting angry at the <laughs> wheels and tyres, I think I've finally figured out what I actually need on here. So, we have to go to stock rims. The one that I found that works is this. The one that says plus zero make, makes things fit. Maybe it's the 10 part of the front. I don't know. I, 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 I genuinely... Oh, we need to actually buy the other tyre as well. I genuinely don't know on this, because they're seeming to use two different scales of measurement on each thing. So, yeah. Uh, so, uh, race soft compound tyre. There we go. It, it, it works, basically. Uh, so that one there goes there. That one there will fit on the wheel. Good! Good. We've got... <laughs> We've got a car that might have a slight sort of panel rub going on back there. Can we... Aha! Oh, no, wait, that's not right height, though. Um, can we not do right height from here? Anywhere? Anywhere? Do we have to actually click on the... Oh, don't tell me we have to click on the bloody spring to do it. We'll be here all day trying to click on the spring. Oh, no, I've got the spring, and that's not... I would have thought it would have been the shock absorber, but apparently I can't do right height on the car. Never mind. Uh, hopefully that's not going to be a problem. Either way, there we go with our car. We've actually got... It's actually not in bad nick to start with. I will give it that. We will... We will get a almighty wing, I think. I think we should. I think we should for this one. Uh, no, wait, what am I doing? It'll be under body, won't it? Are there aftermarket body parts on this one? Ooh, shall we go for a... Drag rear quarter panels. Yeah, let's go have a look at them. Let's see what they look like on the car. And I'm thinking we might want to go for an almighty wing. It might be a good idea for the sake of not going to orbit having an almighty wing. And I'm thinking this one with all of the various bits and pieces on it should be the order of the day. Right, so if we get rid of these rear uh, panels... Ah, we can actually take off the sort of like the lip spoiler. That's quite cool. Uh, we will fit the new ones that are. Are they any different? Okay, hold on. Uh, that one. That's rear. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, right. Oh yeah. Okay. So they kind of like bulge out over the wheels more. And they actually give it room for the drag tire, so there's not a rub. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. That one. And then we will put the wing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I am liking this. I am liking this indeed. Okay. Now we're going to go paint it because it's all horrible and rusted. So we've got uh, we've got like various dribbles left inside of all of these. So we're going to sell. Um, can we just... I don't know if there's a quick way of doing getting rid of all of these. Probably is. Let's just chuck this lot away. Okay, are we going to have a nice way of... Um, I guess I could probably put the normal bonnet back on because it doesn't actually have the intake sticking out of the engine. Never mind, it'll do. Um, bye. What... Uh, shall we go for a... I'm thinking we should go for a, like a bright... A bright sort of reddy colour on this one to go with the engine. Uh, we will buy... Let's get five just because I'm not sure how much of this uh oh uh, yeah I, I, oh, that game I, I i know you were telling me we were out of the stuff can i paint anything can we go for the wing no okay fine well go for go for the new can uh right this car shall look in fact what i probably should have done i've just thought of i was gonna make the car look evil we should probably then have gone for completely black and then just had red highlights that would have made more sense uh, okay new change of plan Change of plan completely. Uh, let's go buy a whole bunch of it. We're going to have lots of paint. Uh, we're going to have lots of paint indeed here. Uh, shall we go for... Ah, okay, I'm quite liking that. Quite liking that. Uh, we need... Okay, there we go. We've, got... We've actually got about the most out of that can I think I've ever got out of one of these. Only had 14 millilitres left. Uh, do we want... Uh, I'm trying to think... Do we want to go for a red wing and just a red front? I think that actually will look quite good on here. Um, that's got 183. Is that going to be enough for the wing? Yes, it is. There we go. Our evil-looking 
relatively evil. It's as good as I'm going to do, let's face it, <laughs> on this. I'll take it. I will take that indeed. Now we will head back to the garage. And I think our car is ready. For something. Let's just go and make sure it is class S. Yeah, everything. Apparently it is still on. It is apparently still on 95 octane. <laughs> Yeah, so basically what you would normally put into your car is what's going through this engine. Right, okay. Now, I am going to skip this. I've, I've picked up my Xbox controller. I managed to wrap wires around it. I am going to skip this tonight. Whenever I try to load uh, Velo City in the day, it crashes. So we're going to go to night. And we're going to take it racing. Please, game, do not crash. Please let me go and race this against the other cars. This is going to be an utter, utter monster, and probably not... Ah, I might have made a mistake and not... Okay, good, we are here. We are here. Uh, <laughs> this thing is... Uh, okay, how do we... First of all, let, let, let's deal with... Oh. Oops. I'm, I'm, uh, I might have fail-raced it. It got... Like a hundred meters, not even a hundred meters it is upside down. Oh, I don't have to pay for returning to garage though. That's good. Okay, car. <laughs> Shall we, um, yeah, let's, let's just repair that. <laughs> oh, ouch. That cost me 16,000. That roll was very expensive. Very expensive indeed. Uh, let's go back tonight to make sure we don't crash. And what I might also do is, uh, let's get to the gearbox. I can't find the gearbox, so we're going to do that. And give us some incredibly long gear. Do you want to go that way? I'm not actually sure what way I want to go. I think that way for longer gear ratios. Or is that really short gear ratios? Okay, maybe we'll put it there and we'll see what that's like. Because I think this game normally has really short gear ratios for the cars. It's not really expecting you to have 31,000 horsepower and trying to use all of that. So, ooh, let's see. If this is... Oh, Christ. Okay. Now, careful. <laughs> careful. And now we are just brutally quick accelerating. Okay. This is a terrifying experience. The good news, though, handling, not that I'm actually taking any corner speed here, is quite uh, quick. I think this is a... Or, a an automatic. I'm not sure I have a huge amount of control over what the gearbox is doing here. Oh. <laughs> don't know what... <laughs> the sound is just a constant whine in this thing. We're gonna line it up for a race. I very gingerly worked my way around to the racing area. Hello, guys! Honestly, this is a perfectly normal, normal race car. Let's participate. Let us participate and... We're going to race against a pickup truck. It's not quite going to be as impressive as my pickup truck from last time. They're only wanting to bet $1,000 on this race. They're not really going for the crazy amounts of dollars here. Probably quite wise. I do like the look of this car, though. It looks mean. <laughs> Are we ready for... Ooh, we are not quite got wheelies going on here. How fast is this going to get? Holy crap, that's almost 200 miles an hour. 284 kilometers an hour. And that was with a bare barely a blip on the... What's going on with the, the pickup truck's gone berserk? <laughs> that was with barely a blip on the throttle. Oh, this, this thing... This thing is brutally fast, but what most impresses me about it in all of this it's quite controllable. From my, my previous experience of building silly cars, and those of you that do remember, ooh, okay, we can still go up on our side. <laughs> we can still go up on our side, but uh, yeah, for those of you that do remember... Uh, when I played this game a long time ago, some of the monstrosities that I had there that were literally just undrivable. This is a lot more controllable and has a lot more power than any of them ever did. That's a big plus point. That is a big plus point. I think through heavy cornering, it will still tip up on its side and it will still roll over. But it is more drivable than I was expecting. Oh, we're not going to stop. We're just going to lock everything up going through there. Can we... Okay, we should probably be careful doing that. And I know I've got to be careful of the curves, having rolled it already. Ah, and this is with the car's standard suspension. Let's not forget, I didn't actually put any fancy suspension on the car whatsoever. I think we're going to go again. Yeah, let's go up against a twin-turbo 3.6-litre car. 
Good luck with that. <laughs> good, good luck up against... Well, mine. Here. <laughs> really? Okay. Can I get to... Well, we should. We could easily clear 300 kilometers an hour. It, here, it's whether I've got the control to do it. Okay, that's over 200 miles an hour. That was well clear of the 200 mile an hour mark. Oh, we took out whatever that was. Did that do any damage to the front? I think we might be okay. Uh, oh, we lost a headlight. Eh. <laughs> this thing is absurd. That is terrifying speed in such a tiny, tiny space of time. Of course, you were never really going to be able to uh, access... Oh, no, this is a manual. It's like a semi-automatic gearbox going on in this. Okay. Uh, maybe, like, sink gear, I think, would probably be a good gear for me, to be honest with you. Just stop the wheel... Not the wheel spin... I say not the wheel spin is a massive problem. I think just brute power... Oh, Christ! Oh. <laughs> if you could not spawn them in and give me a heart attack, that would be amazing. Okay. I think I might need new underwear, and amazingly, it's because of the cars spawning in, not the monster... I guess it's not really in, because it is four-wheel drive. That would make sense. I forgot about that bit. Participate. We can work our way up the ranks here. When, <laughs> when we have this, when we have this, we can know. Oh. Well, it was bound to happen eventually. Okay, I'll be I'll be back in a minute or however long. Okay, we are back, and of course, trying to really max this car inside the city is not quite going to uh, to work. So. We are going to head to the test track. Fingers crossed this will all load up okay. Indeed it has. Now we shall get to see just how fast can we get this car to go. Oh, that's okay. We're up to 500 kilometers an hour and I can't stop. Can't stop. Oh, okay, little bounce off the wall. It's all right. No major harm done there. And I'm pleased to report, yeah, the handling is... A lot better than it uh, was... Oh, no, 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 no. Get off the wall. We've lost a door. We've lost a fender. We are losing bits of the car. Yeah, the handling is, is pretty damn good, in fact. I've, as I said, I've had many a crazy car that you try and turn at like 40 miles an hour and they'd fall over in older versions. It's, yeah, it's a lot, a lot more plausible to drive these sort of monsters. I mean, this thing does not really have the turning. It never like it never was likely to. How fast is it going to go before I have to get on the brakes? That's all. Oh, we can do 600 kilometers an hour. We can definitely do 600 kilometers an hour. I'm not sure quite what that is in miles, but it's a lot. But <laughs> basically, it's a lot. If we can get a nice run out of this bat off this banking, if we can carry good speed here without ending up in the wall like we're about to. Uh, here we go. Come on, car. Do that 600 kilometers an hour. Break! 603, I think that was up to. The game is really struggling to render the world as quickly as I'm driving. It doesn't have the greatest draw distance, let's face it. A rather old, old base for this, uh, for this version. But we have able to control hit 600 kilometers an hour. That is ridiculous speeds. 611, and now I'm going to slow down. <laughs> A controlled and stopped at 611 kilometers an hour. That is mighty impressive from our our beast. And it's only lost a door. It's actually, you know, oh, okay. Look, we can we can probably roll it doing donuts more than we can roll it doing cordery. It's only really lost a door, and oh, yeah, then that's gonna lost a little bit more. I think that might have been a headlight. Yeah, we lost a headlight now. <laughs> Another one for good measure. It's going to be an expensive repair bill. But, <laughs> hey, look, it's a proper fair race vehicle. It has far too much power, but it's surprisingly usable with it and can roll over at very little in the way of speed, really. Uh, about 50 kilo 60? Okay, maybe we need 60 kilometers an hour is all it makes to roll over. But at 600 kilometers an hour, it can actually still make corners. Quite impressive going, really, this... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the speed is incredible. I might—I don't know where this is going to run out of lovely long straight roads, so I'm thinking we might want to go on the brakes sometime about now. I mean, those brakes would be cooked. 
Why is there still a police car that hang, hung around here in the older versions? Is there still a police car around here? Was it down this bit? Uh, no, this now looks like we're going into like a little car parky area. <gasps> is the weight game still a thing on this? Okay, doing kind of like donuts. Oh, no, 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 dear. Oops. That wasn't quite what I meant to do. That wasn't quite what I meant to do at all. Um, return to Garrett. I think I should probably repair the car slightly. Oh, it's a little bit of a sorry sight. Uh, <laughs> uh, repair all of the car. 7,000. Oh, that's cheaper. So I did like three rolls in that one, and that was cheaper than the one I did setting out and losing the splitter. Sure. Um, don't click on City, otherwise we will probably crash the game. Test track. Let's go back here. Um, we were going to have a look, see if the weight game is still a thing. We started a slightly different area to where we used to. I think I remember where it is. Just about. Can I remember how to get to it? The weight game was great fun. Um, if you haven't seen my older videos on this, basically what it was is you would start off in the game every five seconds, every ten seconds would drop a giant like two ton weight from the sky around your car and you'd have to dodge it. And as you dodge more and more, uh, as you went through the levels, it gradually dropped them quicker and quicker and started them closer to your car. So you had less time to sort of work with dodging out of the way. It was great fun. Incredibly devastating to the vehicles, of course, with a giant two-ton weight lands on it, but a good fun challenge for a car. It was somewhere around here, I think. Uh, it doesn't look like it is here, unfortunately. Shall we go see what the green flag is? Now, the green flag would normally indicate the start of a race. So is there races to be done around here? Oh, please stop, car. Uh, maybe. Maybe there is, like, a vet. There was also a thing. I'm trying to think, like, a lift around here that you could park your car on and it would fire you into the sky. But uh, I kind of like this car. I mean, as much as I couldn't like this sort of... Well, <laughs> it, it's a, as I said, it's a very foul racing car. It's an absolute monster, and I perhaps don't want to immediately destroy it. Yeah, is there a way to get back onto the banking anywhere over here? I mean, it's not exactly going to take me very long to get around to the start line. I was just hoping that there was an easy... Okay, there's another green flag over here, then. Sure, we'll check this one out and see if we can do races around this area. I mean, it's going to be like a drag race down this... That would kind of make sense, really, wouldn't it? Right. Hello, Arrow. What do you have for me here? Oh, maybe I can't do anything here. That's disappointing. Right, so no racing inside this test trap, but a lovely high-speed bowl to uh, go and get the car up to speed on. Right, I think that means we're going to go back to the garage. Now, unfortunately, I doubt... I doubt very much that I'm going to be able to do any of the actual races with this car because it's a S class. I assume it's an S, yeah. <laughs> S. Uh, once it's kind of got the power to get to S class, I guess it doesn't matter how much power, so you can go ridiculous like this. Um. Ooh. No, we'll save race of champions for another, <laughs> for a, for another video. I'm not quite. I don't quite know how that all works, and I think I'm going to get broken. Racing events wise, of course, all of this stuff here, you need cars in lower classes, which, well, mine is 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 not. Uh, we could, I guess it gives us $2,000. <laughs> sure. Let's go and see if the police can do anything about a 31,000 horsepower monster. This could, I think I'm going to break myself before we get caught by the police. I think there is practically no chance of the police getting near me. However, there is a very, very high possibility of me stuffing it into the wall and that being the end of uh, end of me, really. It does mean, and this is like the, <laughs> the easiest way for me to get into the city during the daytime without the game breaking on me, which is quite amusing, but there we go. Um, yeah, make the turn. There we go, and now speed. No, not too much speed. Not too much speed there. <laughs> There is a bus that we will end up in the back of. And this is... Oh, no, 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 no. Um, what's down here? I don't know what's down here. This looks like a lovely flat area. Maybe the police will have issues following me down here. Um, although this doesn't look like a particularly good way to join the motorway. And it looks like it would be very easy for me to just launch my car skyward. Because there are some very, very steep hills. Uh, what time did I get away with in the pickup? I can't remember. There we go. We're back onto the street. Speed! No, speed is... That speed is scary there. That speed is really scary. Hello, Mr. Policeman Officer. Uh, 
have you come to try and stop this car? I'm, I've got enough problems stopping it myself, let alone with you guys trying to get in the way. There's surprisingly more police cars actually around than there were last time, I think. Like, I've actually seen three cars this time. Last time I saw, I drove past one. I mean, the motorway will still probably work for getting away. This is a surprisingly large city, this. I've never really explored it because it has a tendency to crash. Just repeatedly crash. Uh, so I haven't really ever explored it that much. Come on, car. Make it around these turns. Carefully done. <laughs> I don't have a huge amount of trust in this car. I'll be honest at times. Oh, hello, Mr. Policeman. You're not paying attention? Fine. Speed! And then panic because it's not rendering fast enough. And there's going to be a bus coming towards me. There's a police car crashed into a wall. Uh, the police are doing an awful job of doing much about me, but I'm doing a fairly poor job of getting away. And now I see traffic lights. This is not what I wanted. I wanted like a big motorway to really open the taps up on the car. And I can't because, well, there's stuff to crash into. And, well, that'll, that'll not go too well for me here. <laughs> Just casually doing 200 miles an hour as we come into the city here. That's uh, <laughs> as you do. Um, well, I mean, I guess uh, for for a challenge, I have a, I have achieved 200 miles an hour into a city. We're cruising about a little bit now, but uh, was it 320, 330 kilometers an hour equates to 200, and we were easily doing that in into the city. Then kind of panic and get on the brakes immediately. Um, I'm not quite sure that <laughs> losing the police does not seem to be a, um, like a particular knack to it. There seems to be a lot more luck involved. Thank you. Whoa. If they say thank you, bus, we're getting out of the way. They kind of swerved back ahead of me. Uh, oh, we're, we're now leave the public places. Um, okay, sure. I, I will leave the public places. I mean, this is not exactly a, oh, there's a copper over there who, <laughs> so I love I love how the, like, I guess the, the normal AI police traffic are not programmed in to join in the chase, so I can drive past them and they don't care. Where am I going now? I was expecting this to be a dead end, but no, there's, there's more. Is there another bridge? Sure. Okay, well, hopefully this is leaving the public places. <laughs> police are tracking me again. Oh, bugger. We're not leaving the public places. We're back in the public place. Oh, dear. Um, uh, mine trees, trees are bad, trees are very bad. In fact, trees might be drive throughable in this game, I'm not sure, but I don't plan on finding out. Still got four police on my tail as we're trying to navigate the city. Uh oh, no, bad, bad, where's reverse? Find reverse. Whoa, why have we gone forward? Game, this like semi automatic gearbox is so frustratingly dumb. Uh, uh oh, uh, these tight corners are not doing my car any good. The police actually very nearly sort of got close to me. They, they, they were almost within range of crashing into my car and then I could use blistering speed and then they're not in not in range of crashing into my car at all. Not very much is in range of my car. Uh, they really need I was going to say helicopters, they really need fighter jets if I can get in a straight line to keep up with this. Otherwise they're, they're just not going to cut it really. Um, right, so so far my pickup truck was a much better getaway vehicle. Bridge! Uh, Brakes, 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 please be a gap. Ah, we're good. Curbs are vicious. The curbs are really, really vicious on here. Um, I'm not sure where best for me to go is at this moment. I'm trying to just crew, I'm trying to find a point in that I can hold the throttle at to just kind of go sensible ish speed. It's proving quite difficult. There's really no sensible ish speed with a car like this. It's either you're not moving or you're moving forward very, very quickly and you're about to crash into something. That, this is the, about the only sensible speed that I can do. Any more, I'll wait till I can get uh, to an area where I can open the, the, the taps fraction. Oh, we can't. The chase is finished. <laughs> oh, that took a lot longer than it did with the um, uh, pickup. However, yeah, I did have a, quite a ludicrous vehicle and I didn't prat around on the motorway for too long. Uh, I said I didn't pray around on the motorway for too long because my car is so fast you don't stay on the motorway for any length of time because you've kind of just travelled the, the the whole distance in about five seconds. Uh, I'm guessing none of you. <laughs> 60 to 90 horsepower. Yeah, about about that. Um, <laughs> oh, we're not high enough club ranking for, uh, for a demo. Not that I'd want to take this car in a demo derby. Um, so there we go, 31,000 horsepower in our muscle car. It is an absolute beast of a vehicle, but 
quite controllable in in some in in some ways i would say quite controllable which is not what i expected to say about it at all um uh, there doesn't seem i just wanted to make sure cuz we're going to see if i can get it to wheelie but there doesn't seem to be a way to change the the power distribution there we go that's what's going for maybe i'm missing something but i am not sure again there could well be things that people are thinking of that were in other modded versions that aren't available in this build so yeah sorry about that i can't seem to change that and equally i can't seem to change the fuel type we can change it we can tune other little bits and pieces but we did get able to to fiddle around with the turbochargers on this one incredible boost and yeah more like it levels of power i think we're going to go for <laughs> <laughs> that is going to be it though for this uh, demon car i will put a link in the description to the mods that i have used so you can play around with this absurdly powerful engine yourself oh yeah that's it from me thank you very much for watching and until next time uh goodbye